a little bit about Parashat Bamidbar. Uh, beginning of Book of Numbers, this week's parasha is Bamidbar. So at the first glance, people think that this must be most kind of boring or meaningless parasha in the whole Torah, because the parasha consists almost entirely of recitation of those names and backgrounds of all the leaders, all those ancient tribes. The truth of the matter, it's a very beautiful and deep message if you look carefully in the parasha, because despite the first superficial impression, the fact is that this parasha teaches one of the most important lessons in the Torah, and it speaks about about human relationships. So let's talk a little bit about the details and all the details. You know, we have now a lot of Zoom meetings. I'm sure that many of you are busy with different Zoom meetings, as well as I sometimes overwhelmed with Zoom meetings. And this week, I have the privilege to um, teach not only in our school, in our Hebrew school, but also in um, some places, a um, virtual teaching of children and private tutoring. So one of them was a two different Zoom meeting and two different kids. One of them was a teenage um, child. So I look at that child's uh, bedroom background and what I see in the wall was very interesting. It was a very large poster of pictures. Guess what? It was a sports idols and rock singers, those new rock and roll and um, movie stars. Later, that particular day, just day before yesterday, I have this virtual lesson with another home, different state, and they asked me to help. So that was quite observant family. And the background of the other child, it was a poster type, a pictures of ancient biblical um, uh, people. It was one of them was the prophetesses, Deborah, in the book of Judges. And I wasn't sure I asked the um, students, and sure enough, it's Deborah. And there was another picture, and I asked, who is that? And the child said, this is Nachshon, the head of the tribe of Judah, who was the first to jump into the Red Sea, and depending solely on the Almighty to protect him. And if, throughout the lesson, I was so impressed, he goes over all those names and explained to me all these great pictures of the heroes in Jewish history. And then I was thinking about the Var Torah for tonight and the connection to this parasha because our Torah wants us to look up and to be good and worthwhile, a good example of life. And we sometimes um, develop a, um, a lot of respect for various kind of star types, even, even though their personal qualities and living habits are poor or even worse. The question is, why do we admire them so much? We will probably never reach the level of maturity and immoral living, nor will we want to. So yet the type of role models we present to our children, to our grandchildren, have an overwhelming effect on the kind of people they become. Um, our Torah wants us to respect high quality, moral people who are totally just and righteous in their behavior. I remember several years ago, it was a, one of those um, old congregants who came to me and he told me, that he is very upset. I asked him why, and he said that his daughter was married to a man, Jewish man, but for a long time, their marriage had an uh, issue mainly because um, he is a good husband, but his speech is very abusive. He was kind of okay husband, but had a full mouth and constantly 
spoke in the most vulgar way imaginable. So that congregant was very uh, disturbed to hear uh, whatever he used to visit with his wife, they couldn't bear to see the daughter and the grandchildren exposed to this kind of a crudeness. So the man asked me to speak to his son-in-law and to see if somehow I could help. So I spoke with the man and um, uh, he said, yes, Rabbi, I have some problem because I grew up in a home where vulgar language was the only language we use. And after growing up in all that, um, I find myself, it's very difficult to stop. He also felt bad about the damage that he's doing to his own children. So now we back to our Parsha. So how can we apply this talk to our Parsha in our lives? From now on, we have to be careful about the way we speak, dress, and act in front of our children and grandchildren. We should just not take it to say just something simple because we shouldn't make the big mistake of thinking that they are too young to understand our speech or actions because their antennas are very sensitive and always working. They are never too young to absorb the meaning of our examples. We must always behave morally respectfully and ethically in order to set the right example. We must dress modestly even at home to give the kids and the grandchildren the kind idea, the right idea of life. We must try to protect them from the bad influences that run rampant on television, on the internet, and so many other Instagram and social media. If your children, if your grandchildren hear you speak badly of people, they will believe that such behavior is really desirable. So the lesson is simple. Lesson that our behavior has a profound effect on our children and grandchildren. We are, we are the main role models for all of the rest of their lives, just as our parents were for us. So we must always keep in mind the kind of example we want them to follow. We must be very clear about what kind of people and lifestyles are worthy of our respect. That is the important message of Bamidbar.